Hi, and welcome to Market Conversations. In this video, I'm just going to show you what I plan to do in the next couple of weeks for Palantir. I am going to take on a longer term spread. And that's because the market has been extremely volatile. Even if I do a spread that is one or two months away, it hasn't been doing well. And I'm just curious. How are you guys doing on your trades? Are you up for the year, for the month? Let me know in the comments down below because I know a lot of people love to post their gains but never their losses. Palantir did try to break above $29 but it couldn't break. Take a look at the one week chart. It's down 14%. One month, it's down 8%. Three months, it's down 2%. One year, it is still up 166%. So what I want to do is I want to open a call debit spread. So let's take a look at what a call debit spread is. If you have Robinhood, it's great. They show you all these examples and the interface is just amazing. So it's a call debit spread is an options trading strategy you might use when you think a stock price will rise moderately before a certain date. It comes with a risk of limited losses and the potential for limited profit. The strategy involves one long call and one short call, both on the same underlying stock and with the same expiration date. When you open a call debit spread, you buy a call at a lower strike price and you sell a call at a higher strike price. So I'm going to go ahead and trade options. I'm just going to go to next year's expiration dates, June. And I do believe by next year, it will break that $29 resistance and possibly try to break the $45 resistance that we had back in January of this year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a call, a 37 strike call and sell a 40 strike call. This will cost us only 26 cents. So for one option, we will make $274 if the stock closes above $40 in June of 2022. I know it's a very long time from now, but we just don't know where the stock will be in the next few months, few weeks. We don't know. How many of you thought we would break $29? Let me know in the comments down below. I thought I did. Well, unfortunately, it didn't, and now we are back at $24. So it'll be a great time to start accumulating leap calls, shares at this price. So that's why I wanted to do a call debit spread because I am only risking $26 to be able to make $274. I'll definitely take that risk versus me buying a short-term call option and losing a lot of money, hoping that the stock will rise short-term. So I'm willing to spend at least $500 on this. So $500, I have to buy 20 contracts and I can make a profit of $5,480. What I like about Robinhood, it shows you this graph here. Our break even is $37.26 and we can still make money even if it goes above this, but we will make max profit if it goes above 40 on expiration dates which is June 17, 2022. We buy it, we set it, and we forget it. If the stock goes down, we know that there's still plenty of time for the stock to go up. If it gets closer to expiration dates and it's not at around four, if it's not close to 40, we can just cut our losses because we didn't risk that much. We only risked $26 in order to make this huge profit. If this is not ideal, you can just pick a closer strike price. So what we can do, the stock is currently trading at 24.10. We can then sell a 25 strike. We can buy a 23 strike call, but we're looking at paying $85 to make $115, which still isn't bad at all because we definitely know that 24 is acting as a very strong support and 29 is acting as a very strong resistance right now. So this gives us plenty of time for the stock to go up. And that's my plan. 
this year because the market is unpredictable this year. So let me know what you think of this strategy. Do you have any other strategies that you guys are implementing into your trades? Let me know in the comments down below. And also guys, come check out my Discord, Patreon page. I'm trying to build up my very small community. Hope to see you there.